Hey everybody, welcome back to Appify Your Business. This video is going to cover how you can create more of an advanced logging system that's built into your application. As most of you are probably aware, there's a built-in audit history that you can view for every single app that you, you make. And it basically keeps track of every single transaction uh, that occurs in your app, whether that is a sync or an ad or editing of records. It's it's a lot of data, right? So it's it's every single interaction of a user with your app. There may be more of a a need to keep track of certain changes and not necessarily care about everybody's sync time. You could actually build a log table into your app with the help of an automation. So you can get something that's a little bit more simplified for the app users specifically. And it would look something like this, right? So I have an application that a uh, very simple change request mockup I did. When you click into this change request, um, you can see details about that request. And down below, you can display a history log, essentially, of every change that occurred throughout an approval process, for example, right? This is very, just very handy for the users of the app, especially approvers, so they can understand what changes have occurred to that record over time. Um, so what you're seeing here is an inline table, and we have um, some virtual columns that basically do some um, calculations to display the data in a form that is easy on the eyes and easy to understand. So I can see here that I see the date, I can see who made the change and then what field was changed and what value it was originally and what value it changed to. So that's um, that's how it works. And then just as a, a demo here, when I click edit and I change to, you know, I change, you know, this type value, for example, and hit save, uh, the change will get synced back to the server. And as soon as that gets synced back to the server, we'll see that entry show up here uh, with the option changing from B to C at you know the current time itself. So I'm gonna make this app available uh, for everyone. So you can, you can copy it and see what I did, but uh, just a real quick overview. I don't wanna get too much into the weeds, uh, but I, I do wanna give an overview of what this app um, is doing, right? How, how this was constructed, right? So you have, your main table, which is going to be your main records that will be the bulk of, of um, some request, right, that you're capturing for the users. And then you're going to have the log table itself. And in the log table, if we view the columns, you obviously need to make sure that you have a column that refers back to the main table itself through a reference. So if we open up this reference, we see that this is, you know, the ID for the main table here. And that allows, when you create this reference, that um, is essentially creating this entry, this virtual column here in the main table called related logs. Okay, so that's how uh, these inline tables show up in your app. They're related to any lists of IDs in another table that you have. And uh, I'll share a link to another video that shows an example all right, so with this in place, you can then start to add in some, some key columns specifically and automations to make this possible. So first let's look at the automation that's occurring, right? So there's one automation and you know we're obviously doing it for all changes in the table and we have this action that's been set up. That action is to add new rows to a the log table right so we're just copying mainly most of the time we're just copying the column from the main table to the log table every time a change occurs from the main table now where this gets a little bit more fancier and you don't have to do this but this is just and this obviously leads to more complexity so if we open up this formula you can see there's a lot going on here right and this is purely um, something that's optional, but it gives that display where you can actually show a the change in more readable form 
such as, you know, what field it occurred in and and have more of a, a, a summary that could be read uh, really easily by a user. So what we're doing is we're checking for a lot of different conditions to decide what text to essentially print in the field itself, right? So the first one of the first checks is, are there any related logs yet, right? If it's equal to zero, then we're gonna call it new. And that's all we're going to show um, it, as, for the entry. And then we get down below here where we're basically doing we're pulling the records from a table and we're doing, we're ordering them by from the current time to an older time and picking out the first entry at the top uh, with this index function. And then we're looking up, you know, the, the fields that we uh, are concerned with, right? So you're going to have to do this for every field that you have in your table. And this will lead to more lines of, of entries in this formula as well. So at a certain point, it may not be worth it if you have a lot of fields in the log. Maybe there's certain fields that you're going to capture, but using this method, you're, you're going to have to essentially have different entries for the different fields. And in this case, we have entries to log the changes for the title field, the date field, and the type field. So this allows us to display what we're showing here in the app itself. If we were to change the title, for example, this formula allows, you know, not just for a single column to show, you can show more than the, um, the same, you know, you can show multiple columns in a single entry. So you can see here that we have the title field being changed. And if you were to change more than one, so let's change option, and then we could change this back to what it was, uh, or even change the date as well. Hit save. The entry that gets populated has a lot of information that's built into the single uh, line item. So here we're opening it up, we can see that we have all those changes built in here from title to the date and then the type as well, right? So I think I've said it enough, but I'll say it again. You know, you don't, you wouldn't have to do it this way. This is just kind of an extra touch I added to the app. You could very simply, just to simplify it, not even worry about a summary field here and just basically log, you know, the, the new values every time it's updated. So you at least have uh, audit trail that can easily be seen directly inside the application. And then lastly, after you have your, your automation set up, you can then edit your inline table. So remember inline tables will show up by default as whatever you know table it's in underscore inline. And you can come here and you can actually change uh, the views to different types and uh, make sure you, you remove columns that may be redundant or not necessary. Um, so you could specify uh, that just like any other view itself. So with that, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and have a good one.